All right, today we're going standard form. Last time we graphed it, we did it in vertex form. But standard form, first thing you're gonna do is find the axis of symmetry. So you're gonna be given parabolas like this. The axis of symmetry is the line that perfectly divides that graph in half. So the first thing we're gonna do is find that axis of symmetry. And then that'll make the graphing part a little bit easier. We'll actually be able to save some steps doing some math. Oh yeah, there's the picture, that's cute. So if you are given it in vertex form, which is what we did yesterday, you know how it says X minus H, and then you would shift it to the right, that would be your axis of symmetry. So if it said X minus five, that graph would be shifted five to the right, so that would be your axis of symmetry. So let's try some out. Identify the axis of symmetry for the graph of f of x equals two times x plus two squared minus three. We know all the transitions, or all the transformations of this. We know that this means it's a stretch. We know that this means that you are going right to, oh, sorry, left two, and then this minus three back here means we are going down three. But really the only part that matters for finding the axis of symmetry is this part right here. If this were our graph, we would be shifting to the left two, and that would perfectly divide our graph in half. So the axis of symmetry is that x equals negative 2. That would be this vertical line here, x equals negative 2. Identify the axis of symmetry for the graph. Again, really all we care about is this. That would be shifted to the right one, and that line would be x equals positive 1. That would be our axis of symmetry. It's easy as pie, folks. And you know how easy pie is to bake. 